Um, it is the hottest day of the summer, quite possibly. It's 91, 92 degrees here in Plattsburgh, New York. It's a hot day. Now, I haven't exactly spent a lot of time on the water this summer. Uh, significantly less than I'd like, that's for sure. This would literally only be my second day. And it's August, what, 11th or 8th? So, the plan is we're going to go to Lake Champlain and we're going to kayak out to Valcor Island. And I believe it's about a half mile paddle from uh, the shore to the island. And it, like I said, it is a large island. So we're gonna do a little bit of exploring there. Okay, we're at the Peru boat launch. You can see a little sailboat passing by there. Pretty day out here. Pretty busy day out here, rather. We have made it to the boat launch. There's Valcor Island right there. See that big red lighthouse will actually be going there once we get across. And there's actually two kayakers already out there. So nice to see, we won't be alone. You can see some boats. Man, it is hot. I'm gonna have to take a little swim, I think. Woo, we're in. Do it ourselves, pushy push. This is my first time going to Valcor this summer. Like I said, this is only my second time on the water this year, which is a bummer. I can see my kayaking friends have almost made it to the island. So the island starts down here, you can see it, and then it runs down to there like between 900 and 1,000 acres. It's a, it's a big island. There's a house on it, not inhabited. There's a lighthouse, a couple beaches. All right, we have made it on shore to Valcor Island. You can see you got the boat parked here on the rock. A little vantage point here. And those are the Adirondacks out there. There's a bay around there and there's a nice sandy beach. A lot of times you get boats back up in there. They just park, so I don't usually go back there. Miles of hiking trails on this island. Not sure on the exact number. I once walked them all. It took several hours. Gotta be careful, it's slick. Super slick. All right, let's take a little dip. Here we go. We're going for it. That felt good. That was rewarding. All right, let's get the kayak put away and then let's get rocking. Okay, I got everything squared away here. We are ready to go check out Valcor Island a little bit. Left or right from this spot, let's go to the right. This will take us to that beach I was telling you about. Valcor has a rich history, I recommend looking it up plays an important role in American history, but it's all forested. It's not developed at all. A long time ago, I believe it was somewhat developed with some like camps, that sort of thing. Uh, but nowadays, it's just a beautiful place for the public to come and enjoy. And we have reached that bay I was telling you about see some of the boats back here docked in and there's that beach that's nice to come hang out on especially when it's not busy like midweek all right let's keep going we're gonna go the other way well yeah we're gonna go the other way i don't think we're gonna hike the whole island today and here is the valcor lighthouse you can see it's actually open there's people up at the top Unplanned. I just dinged my head. Okay, we're in a lighthouse. Wow, there's an Osprey. Wow, 
This is cool. The Adirondacks. I guess we'll go through here. Wow. This was not planned for this video, but how cool is this? Bluff Point Lighthouse. We are in the lighthouse at the top. Got the American flag flying. That's Whiteface Mountain. You see a bunch of high peaks right now. All right, we're back out of the lighthouse. They were actually closing it, but they let me go up to the top, um, which was very nice of them. So thank you to those people. They said it's open um, basically like July and August to early September, like Labor Day, only on Sundays, like 1 to 3 p.m. You can come to this lighthouse and go up to the top and learn about the history of it. This is the back side of the lighthouse. And then here is the front of the lighthouse. We're gonna go to the other beach now. Well, this may not be the only other beach, but it's a, another beach. Every time I come here, I think about how interesting this is. These are almost like trenches. Um, the way they're, you see that huge dip? And there's lots of these. And there was a battle fought here. And I wonder if those were dug for that purpose. I could be totally wrong. Here's another one. You see what I mean? Like, look at that. And then there's another one. And then here's another one. Okay, those are definitely rocks that look intentionally stacked on each other. And then here's another one. You get the point. It seems intentional. It might not be. And it, it may have nothing to do with the wars that were 200 years ago. All right, here is the other bay that we were walking to. And you can see Got a couple boats parked up in here. And then there is another nice beach. This beach actually has less grass in it than the other beach does. But once again, nice clean water. I actually don't know where the trail is or where, where it goes. All right, I found the trail marker. It's uh, pretty well grown in, but uh, we'll go on it anyways, yeah? Here you go, here's you a nice old-fashioned outhouse in case you need it. Let's see, it says here, State of New York, Camp Adirondack, 1975 install. All right, here we go. Yet another bay for you with a beach. More boats in this one than the other one, that's for sure. And there's your beach. In case you want a nice place to relax. I think there's a couple more of these on this island. Um, really, there's a lot to see. So like you paddle out here, you can spend the entire day out here. We're spending like half a day. Um, but you can see lots of forest. You've got beaches, pretty cool. And there, there's rich history, look at the lighthouse and the, the wars and everything. Okay, headed back to the boat now. Gonna relax on the water a little bit. Well, we are almost back to where we started, about 0.1 miles, and then to that bay that we first looked at, 0.4. So in total, we probably just walked a mile, maybe, maybe a little less. All right, I am drinking some water by the water, and I just noticed my kayaking friends over here, they are finally out snorkeling. Sounds like they're having a good time. My boat is just over there. Uh, did not get washed out to the lake or anything. So that's that's good news while I was gone, right? Um, but with that being said, I'm going to sign off. If you're new here, consider subscribing. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like. Let me know if you want another video from Valcor and we'll go explore the other part of the island.